Good morning, friends. It is Wednesday, June 1st. A great day to get back at it. Um, I've done really good, but I have not been tracking or anything like that, so today is the day. I finally found my kitchen scale. Um, it was lost. So, yeah. This is kind of, the, we have so much left to unpack. Ugh, it's ridiculous. I will give you guys an official tour in a couple days. Maybe on Sunday when I do my weigh-in video. Um, things are going. We've got everything here. We've got the old house all cleaned and our keys turned in and stuff like that. So now it's just putting my head down and getting this place unpacked which is a feat all in itself with two small children. My daughter is super, super, um, just having a lot of anxiety. The change is a lot different. Um, there's a lot of noise. We're near right up, right on a main road, which there's cars and people drive so fast and it's so loud. And we just moved from a house that we literally had three houses on our road one was before us and one was after us. So we only had traffic from one vehicle, one household, there were two vehicles, out in the morning, back in in the evening, and maybe the mail lady and a garbage truck once a week. And that was it. So it's a big, it's a big change. Sorry, I had to put you down. My arms are killing me. Um. So yeah, it's, I mean, it's going. We're learning our new routine. We are slowly unpacking. It's going to take a bit of time. Um, thank you. I'd be surprised if we get it done this week. But I'm not stressing. Okay, please go in the living room, guys, okay? Sorry about that. So yeah, we're getting there. It's... The hardest part is over. Um, of course, it's hard for me not having everything unpacked and laid out for me. I'm a little, um, I'm a little OCD, and I like knowing where things are. I like having access to them. I like routine, and I've been out of my routine for way too long now. But we're on the home stretch, and I'm super excited to be here. This is our second morning here. Of course, yesterday we spent most of the day out at the old house cleaning and stuff. Um, but yeah, this morning we're not, I don't think we're going anywhere today. My husband had to work. Um, so he left here at like 4.30 this morning. He doesn't usually work that early in the morning, but. There's then a, the purple necklace. A lot of things with the whole medical emergency last week and all of that stuff from the other guy at work so they had to cover a lot of shifts and um, he wasn't supposed to work today at all but our our daytime chef is just burnt out I think he's on day six yesterday was day 16 in a row that he hasn't had a day off and everybody's tired but it is breakfast time I'm gonna get a good breakfast in me today um, breakfast has always been good I've been doing really well um, but I am back at it today. I am going to flip you around and show you what I'm having. So hold on, I'll be right back. I'm watching catching up on one or two YouTube videos. Hello, Miss Kristen. Sorry I caught you at such a funky angle. But I'm getting ready to have my breakfast. I am having two pieces of toast. That's two points. There is 63 grams of avocado on there, that's three points. Four pieces of the chicken bacon, banana, strawberry, and the biggest cup of coffee in the world. My friend got me this as a housewarming present. I'm gonna show you. This is a regular coffee cup. This coffee cup is humongous. It holds a ton of coffee, so I'm super grateful for that. 
So I went shopping for my first time at this little mom and pop in our town now. And I found a new bread that I have not tried. Um, I'm, I'm not a huge fan of the Sara Lee bread. I think it kind of tastes like cardboard. So I always buy the Nature's Own or the Nature's Harvest, whatever it's called. They did not have that, but they had this one. Pepperidge Farm Light Style Soft Wheat Bread, 45 calories. Um, it's the weirdest thing. When you look it up in the tracker, it is four points for three slices. Who eats three slices of toast? I mean, I know people eat three slices of toast, but on a general rule, a serving would be two slices. One slice is one point, two slices is two points, three slices, you get the magic multiplier, and it becomes four. I also wanted to show this bacon again. I actually have seen it now in three stores in our area. So, and I know that Jess from uh, Weight Watchers Journey to Health found it. I think if I remember right, she's in Oregon. Sorry, Jess, if I screwed that up. But she found it where she is. So I think for some unknown reason, we were just a starter place for this but I have seen it like I said in three stores in our area now um and I know that Jess found it she showed it in her haul the other day so I'm hoping it's going to go more national um if you look at the back the serving size is two slices 30 calories um no saturated fat one gram of carbs, one gram of sugar, four protein, um, 30 calories. You can have up to four pieces. It's actually like four and a third pieces, but four pieces for one point. And if you look at the ingredients here, skinless chicken meat, water, raw sugar, sea salt, and celery powder. There are no chemicals. There are no fillers. There are no nothing. It is just uncured chicken flavored um, chicken bacon. So it's, I stopped eating the turkey bacon even though I really like turkey bacon. Turkey bacon, unless you can find one with like no nitrates and stuff, has a lot of chemicals in it because bacon, I, I don't know exactly how they do it. Bacon doesn't come from turkeys. It doesn't come from chickens either, but apparently they found a way to do it with no, no nitrates or um, any of that junk like that they fill things with. So I love it. It comes in a little pouch like this. There's two sides. It's already cooked. I actually just throw it in my toaster oven and it literally takes, I don't know, 30 or 40 seconds just on just on toast I just throw it in on toast and then I cook that and take it out and set it on top and then I toast my bread so it's really good I really like it um after I showed you I'm gonna take it out and put it I just put it all in a ziploc baggie I have it in my fridge every morning when I need it but I thought I would show the packaging again because I've had lots of people ask me now Alfresco is a pretty known brand, but I do know that the parent brand of Alfresco is McKinsey. They make hot dogs and ham and lunch meats and things like that. I know that they're the distributor in our area that put this out. So even if you even if you can't find it, you might be able to find it online. And I know that like I know it's kind of gross, but these, the regular store that I buy it at, the first store that I found it at, it's always in the refrigerated section with the rest of the bacon and the sausage and stuff. The store that I bought it at here in our town now, it was just on a display um, in the aisle, like in front of a meat case, so it was not refrigerated. So it's kind of like the pre-cooked bacon that you can buy just off the shelf. So this may be something that can be shipped to you um, because it doesn't need refrigerating. So I'm not sure, but I'm working on my first bottle of water. I haven't gotten very far yet, but um, 
I'm gonna go eat and watch the rest of Kristen's video and I will check back in with you guys when I have lunch. Have a good day! Hi guys, it is about 10.30 and I, all of a sudden I'm starving and I don't want to wait until lunch because then I think I will overdo. So I'm having a little pile of baby carrots. There's two tablespoons here of the Cedars Lemon Hummus. That's one point. And then there is 16 or 17 of these pop chips, the Tuscan Herb. Two, uh, 16 or 17, however many is here, is two points. I'm still working on this first huge cup of coffee. It was only one point. I didn't tell you that this morning. There's three tablespoons of fat-free half and half in there and one tablespoon of the sugar-free vanilla syrup from Tarani. Um, so it's just a one-point cup of coffee. I could have actually had one more tablespoon of fat-free half and half, but three did it. So I'm still drinking on that. I've been working away, but I'm hungry, so I'm going to eat this and try to get a couple more hours out before I eat lunch. Um, that makes my total for the day 10 points, and I have 20 left for the day. So I'll check back in at lunchtime. Bye, guys. Hi, guys. It is about, well, it's almost 1 o'clock, and it's time for lunch. I am having a 7-point taco salad. So it has lettuce, tomatoes, and diced onions in there. And then it has four ounces of 99% fat-free ground turkey with a little bit of taco seasoning. So that is two points. There's 40 grams of black beans, just canned black beans for one point. There is three quarters of an ounce of reduced fat cheddar jack cheese on there that is two points there is 11 grams of the baked scoops when I get to the bottom of the bag and there isn't um, chips left like this I stick them in a plastic baggie and that's what I've been putting on my taco salad um, so that's what I do, just so I don't throw them away, and they're too hard to dip at that point into anything. So I save them and use them on my taco salad. So for the 11 grams um, is only one point. And then I have two tablespoons of reduced fat sour cream, which is one point, and I mixed it with maybe a tablespoon to two tablespoons of salsa. I just mix it all together and that's what's my dressing. So this is seven points. I have a little bowl of grapes and I'm working on my second bottle of water and I'm going to watch one more YouTube video and I got to get thinking about ordering some party supplies. My son's fourth birthday is this coming week and then three days later is my daughter's second birthday so we're having a big birthday party slash housewarming party here not this coming weekend but the following weekend so I need to order some supplies for that so I'm gonna go eat and take a little break and then get back to it and I will see you either for an afternoon snack or dinner this leaves me with 13 points left for dinner and or snacks the rest of the day. So I'll check in later. Bye guys. Hi guys. It's after supper. Sorry I didn't show you a picture. Well, I'll have a picture. I didn't record it. Um, I'll insert a picture. I had six ounces of shake and bake center cut pork loin chops. Um, that was three points and then the shake and bake was one. I had one quarter of the package of the little potato company potatoes. That was two. I had a little bit of sour cream for one point and some green beans with a little teeny bit of, I use like one tablespoon of, I can't believe it's not butter for all of it. So I didn't count that. Um, and then I just finished a one point 
sugar-free fudgesicle. I think I have two points left for the day. Um, just sitting outside. My kids are playing. We're hanging out with all the chickens. The kids are playing. They're absolutely in love here. Grayson, where'd you go, buddy? So, it's been a good day. I got a lot done. Hopefully by this weekend I'll be almost there. A couple good days. Tomorrow I'm going to be gone most of the day. I have a couple appointments to go to. Um, but yeah, we're having a, a good day. It's good to be here. It feels like home. It feels comfortable. So, it's beautiful. There's clouds in the sky. It's warm out. We just brought down a bowl of scraps we've been saving all day for the chickens. So we've been feeding them. And I don't know if you can see her. Right, right over here. Right there is my stepdad's lawnmower. The kids are sitting on it. <laughs> but they're having fun. They love it here. It's a nice Mia, yeah. pan around and show you the yard. We've got a chicken house, another chicken house. We're actually going to put some goats in there. A big table and a fire pit and a hammock. My parents' camper. The kids call it Mimi's clubhouse. They get to camp out there in the summertime. So, yeah, it's been a good day. Hopefully tomorrow I'm going to get a walk in. I've been really missing them. So I'm going to close out the vlog here. And I will see you when I see you. But I hope everybody had a good day. So bye guys.